my name is Melissa Hahn and today I will be presenting on the Ergogenic Aid casing. Casein is a protein found naturally in milk, making up 80% of milk. Casein provides the body with large amount of, of amino acids and is digested at a slower rate than most other animal proteins. It is also made synthetically to enhance performance in athletes. Casein provides the body with a steady amount of amino acids and is said to support muscle growth and strength in weight training programs. By increasing the amount of amino acids in the body, it allows for protein synthesis and a slower rate of protein breakdown. Since protein is necessary for muscle rebuild, it allows an athlete an increased recovery time. Casein is orally administered, often in the form of a powder and absorbed in the small intestine. Casein allegedly forms a clot in the stomach, slowing gastric emptying and slowing amino acid uptake in the body. This is helpful in the slow administration of amino acid to the skeletal muscle. It then binds to plasma proteins in the blood where it travels to the skeletal muscle. No information was found on the process of how casein is metabolized in the body. It is assumed that since casein is in its simplest form of an amino acid, the body does not need to break down the substance and it can be directly absorbed in the muscles. Finally, excess casein is processed by the kidneys and excreted in the urine. One study done was comparing the effects of whey protein versus casein protein. The participants were 16 collegiate female athletes who were asked to consume 24 grams of casein both before and after exercise for eight weeks. The results of the casein group in this study were that they experienced significant strength gains, improved in power and agility, and decreased in body fat. Another study conducted on casein was to see the effect on the muscles when supplementing whey protein versus casein protein. The study was performed on 12 adult male rats that were assigned whey protein or casein protein. The rats were immobilized for eight days in order to see gains in muscle hypertrophy. Both groups of rats experienced faster recovery of isometric force and concentric power output by taking the protein supplements. However, the whey protein group improved at a faster rate than the casein group. Research on the side effect of casein comes primarily from animal research or personal and professional opinions of people who have used the substance. Since casein is found naturally in milk, those with milk allergies, like being lactose intolerant, should avoid taking the substance as they may experience symptoms similar to when they drink milk or consume dairy products. The long-term effects of casein are a decrease in kidney function, the possibility of cancer, and osteoporosis. The information on the long-term effects regarding casein is brought to you by a literature review titled Casein Protein. The short-term effects include upset stomach, pain, diarrhea, vomiting, and gastrointestinal problems. This information on the short-term side effects of casein is brought to you by a non-professional website and from people's experiences. Unfortunately, no professional organization makes a statement on the recommended dosage of casein, but a non-professional website, bodybuilders.com, does suggest 40 to 50 grams of casein for a 200-pound male. NASM does recommend a certain dosage of protein in general for an athlete, but not specifically the protein casein. According to the National Academy of Sports Medicine, the recommended protein consumption daily is 1.2 to 1.4 grams per kilogram of body weight for endurance athletes and 1.4 to 1.8 grams per kilogram of body weight for strength training athletes. The National Strength and Conditioning Association's position statement on protein supplement recommendations is 1.5 to 2.0 grams per kilogram of body weight. There are no professional organizations that recommend the consumption of casein as an ergogenic aid, but some research does suggest the benefits of the supplement. It is then each athlete's decision on whether or not they want to take casein as an ergogenic aid.